Now then, so what we're doing today? Cups, that's what it says, and that's what we're doing. Um, some of you who got the uh, some cups in the uh, in the packs that we dished out um, might have thought, why why is the paper cups in here? Uh, and it's one of my my big things, really. I suppose I, I do draw on cups quite a lot, uh, as you can see in front of me. I've got quite a few here uh, as examples, uh, and this is this is just a fraction of the amount of cups that I've drawn on in the past. So, so we'll, I'll get started, and I'll uh, I'll show you a few examples to begin with, uh, and then I'll show you me doing one. Uh, one of the things I want to say is is this is just like all of the other uh, activities that I do. And just because I'm showing you drawing in felt tip pen doesn't mean to say you have to do it in felt tip pen. If you've got some paints that'll, that'll paint on these cups, then use the paint. If you've got some pens that'll write on them, then use pens, pencils, anything you want. So, uh, and I think I can, uh, I can show you that with a lot of these examples, they're, they're quite, what's called mixed media. Mixed media means I can, you can use lots and lots of different things. So don't, don't just copy what I'm doing. You can do your own thing, all right? So this, this is what we're going to be, uh, be doing today. Um, but I'm gonna show you a few other examples of things I've done. Uh, and I'm kind of gonna start off with the most advanced and then work backwards a little bit. Um, so we'll go to the, uh, We'll go to the top camera and here we go we'll go to the top camera and as you can see these are this is the deep now that's that's the actual one that's the deep there but this one is supposed to be a negative so so there was like a positive and a negative one which we're looking at each other. So they're supposed to be about the same size. The weight actually, this one's a little bit bigger, but you know, that's, that's, that, those are the things that happen. So I'll put those out, out the way. So these are, um, these are painted with Posca, Posca pens. So as you can see, that's a trainer, one of my trainers. Now all of these here are drawn from life. So that was uh, my wife's favorite trainers on a windowsill I think it was. Um, this is my back way, that's my shed door. Uh, a chair, garden chair, so that's... Here is my living room, that's where I keep my computer. And that's my shelf, I keep all my cameras in there. A map on the wall, and the stairs. I hope you can see these, you can. Now this was this is quite an old one. This is where we used to work. This is back in our old building. That was the laptop we was working on and the cupboards and things. And this one, this is done with marker pens. So those were pens, but this is marker pen. Um, this one's a little bit of a mixture. This is pens and pens and marker pens. So and I actually did this one in the in the cemetery which is near where I live. So that's the the old monument, some trees, and that was the pathway. Uh, that's the school. So quite like that one. A lot of work went into that one. Um, so again, these these are more sort of sketching. So this these were out and about. So that is the bridge that used to have the Banksy on. So this is Bankside and the river on the other side of the river. Some of the cranes and things. As you can see, this is just done with a pen and done really sketchy. This is Queen's Gardens. That's the um, oh, Wilberforce. Some of the trees. Now this one, this one's done with charcoal. And this is at um, Flambra. That's Flambra Lighthouse there. So I did that while I was there. Uh, and this one's Flambra again. So again, this one's done with charcoal. Can you see how mucky the inside of the cup is? Yeah. So that's the cliffs. I think that's uh, North Landing. Actually, I think that's South Landing, to be fair. 
um, some of the little boats that are on the on the way down. And I sat on the cliff edge and drew that a few years ago. Um, oh, we were staying in a caravan, and that's the inside of the caravan. And that's done with um, just ballpoint pens, coloured ballpoint pens. This one's a bit more scratchy, done obviously a lot quicker. And again, uh, I think I was in the park, actually. That's a tree and a lamppost. I think that was East Park as well. So this one I started doing, uh, and it's the um, it's the Ferrans. So that's the Ferrans building there. So again, that was that was done while I was sat on um, Queen Victoria Square. Uh, this is Queen Victoria Square, but as you can see from these two, you know, I spent an awful lot more time on this one. I think I drew this one, which is do you remember when the poppies were there? So I drew this one, and then I think I finished this one off at home because there's a lot more there's a lot more going on on that one. Whereas that one, I didn't finish that off at home. I just uh, I just left that. So so again, these are the uh, so I'll go back to this camera. So these are I, I think would be classed as the more complicated ones. These are kind of sketching because I love sketching. So and and I really like sketching on on cups and things. And it's really nice if you can. Uh, uh, if you if you get a cup while you're out, these are a little bit bigger, and you sketch um, on the cup that you've just drank out of. It's, I always think that's kind of a nice thing. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to this one, uh, and these were just practice ones. Some of these, so as you can see, I got some new pens, and I just did. Yeah, that was the purple, and I did purple, and then did outlined it, the sepia, the olive green, grey, blue, so oh, blue steel, black, pink, sky blue. Um, so yeah, that was just practicing with some new pens. Uh, as you can see, oh, I think this was just practicing with some new pens as well. Um, got some quite nice... Uh, Quite nice textures and patterns on there, but that's all that is. But I, you know, I enjoyed doing that. Uh, this one's done with oh, ballpoint pens, and it was just. Do you remember the uh, the scribble drawing that we said about? It's that's that's all I did there, just practicing with the pens. Just a, a funny little face, and again. Some of these are just practice ones. I think I actually started drawing that. That was in that's East Park as well which is what this cup is. And I try, was trying to use all as many different colours as I, I had and just start drawing different faces, which I really like this one. This one kind of reminds me of uh, Sergeant Pepper, the Beatles. So, but it, that's not what it, I was trying to do. It just does, it just reminds me of that. And then just patterns, doing different types of patterns. Again, that was just testing out. That's wax crayon, actually, that one. Uh, so now we're getting more onto what we're going to do today. Um, so I drew lots and lots of just different squares on the cup. And I coloured in, in between them all. And then just put little different patterns in between them. So that's kind of a good way. Um, so these these are the three that I think I want to I want to show you. So I've just shown you that one. So I'll show you this one. So these are all different little monsters. I think you know I like drawing little monsters. So there's a little bird in the background there. So there's lots and lots of different things you can do with these. Now this is the one that we're actually going to do today. Um, and it's just like a, a football crowd or a, a crowd watching watching sports or something just a big crowd of people but they're just all different types of faces so that's what we're, i'm going to show you today um but i'm going to go to that camera you're going to say to me wayne i don't have a paper cup what can i do well if you've got a toilet roll you can just draw on a toilet roll and that's a good way to uh, 
to do it. If you've watched my uh, activity on drawing on different bits of paper and things, you'll know that because that's card, you can draw on anything, but because it's coloured, it, uh, it might not take the colour of certain things very well, like um, watercolour paint is, won't go on there very well. But if you've got some emulsion paint, then if you paint it, and remember lots of thin layers, not just one thick one, um, then it, it will look a lot more like the cups, can you see? And then you can draw straight onto the uh, onto there. So um, I might do two, so to show you, uh, and I'll do on do it with this one. And oh, I've got a visitors pass from one of the schools there. Look, that's that's interesting. Right, so I'm going to get started and uh, quickly show you. go to that camera right we've, so we've got to this stage uh, where we've we've drawn all the outlines and we've we've colored in the background um, so the next thing is to draw on your faces but some of the faces if you can look at this one I'll go to there can you see some of them I've left the white cup in the background where the teeth are and that really helps to uh, to make them stand out a little bit more so it might be a good idea to use a pencil, get your pencil and just draw all your faces on and then start colouring them in. Okay, so this is the finished cup. I'll go a little bit slower so you can see it all. As you can see, I've left some white bits. I even used the um, highlighting pen for some of it. Um, and it, as you can see, it looks quite impressive. I only used a few colours to uh, colour them all in. I didn't colour, use every single colour I had. So yeah, that's uh, that's that one. So I'm going to do one on a toilet roll now. But I'm going to use, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, right, so I'm going to do a toilet roll now. Um, and I'm going to use the oil pastels. So there it is, toilet roll, I'll go around quite slowly, with flowers on. So if you don't have a cup to draw on, you can always draw on the centre of a toilet roll. 